Hello, people. This is Beth from Our Wave, and today we're going to take a look at Nvidia. So it's going to be a first of a kind, as I don't usually take a look at Nvidia on its own, uh, but I figure it's everyone talks about it, so I might as well make a dedicated video about it. Now, as you, as you can see, we're going to start off with the weekly, uh, which is more than enough, and we'll, we'll walk our way through the intraday as we we like to do here on the channel. And uh, bef I mean. As you can see, we're going to start off with this count. Now, let's uh, let's just dive into it. I will leave you the link to the latest Nasdaq video, which is going to be yesterday's video, um, popping up on the top right of the screen. So if you want to take a look at the Nasdaq, you can do so. Um, as of right now, it's about 0.3% uh, down. And uh, yesterday closed as expected. We might see another low today. Uh, we'll see. I'm not too bullish on the Nasdaq, and Nvidia seems to be confirming that in the short term. Now, now that's going to be interesting. So, the first question is: Does Wave One go here, or does it, uh, or does it go? Sorry, what I meant is: Does the Wave Two go here, or does it go here? And let's try to answer it. So. Let's uh, see. Okay. Okay. So let's put everything here under the same folder. Uh, let's call it long term two in O eight. Okay. So here, obviously, um, so you would have a case for that cycle wave one. So this one to be one, two, three, four, and five. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, three, four, and five. Which you may argue, um, you may argue it's quite the way four compared to wave two. Yes, um, I'm. I can only uh, agree with you, but it, it still makes sense. Now, this looks like a sharp wave move, and uh, the main thing is I can count this as a three wave move A, B, and C. So that would be A, B, C, primary, blue, this would be intermediate. Orange. So let's put it here. I will leave the timestamps as usual with long term and short term count. So if you want, just skip ahead. But then if, if you're on the short term and you haven't watched the long term, don't blame me. Now, here, how can we count it? Well, I guess we could squeeze a one, two. Uh, that would be quite the aggressive four, wouldn't it? Kind of like this. Quite aggressive. I mean, you you would have alternation, right? Between four and two, they would pretty much be similar in length, because you're in with four would have only retraced this much, I guess. Um, how else could you count it? I don't know. I kind of mm, I think I'm gonna go with it. And wave two now. Here I kind of has one two one two, three four three four. Now what I don't like about this is this is sharp. This is sharp. So that makes me think. That makes me think. Well, what does it make me think? So let's try to start over. Can we come up with another count? Let's see. So. Can we have a one, two, one, two, infinity and beyond? Let's see. Let's try it. Why am I saying that? Well, you could squeeze. You could also kind of as one, two, one, two, three, four, five, one, two. Uh, one, two, three, four. Four, five. 
kind of like this, couldn't you? Um, could investigate further to be fair. A, B, C. Primary. So let's already start placing all of these here. Okay. So can you count this as a five with move? That's going to be challenging. So let's zoom in. Can we count five? One, two, three. Truncated fifth. Oh God. Truncated fifth. What I'm thinking is one. No, that's not what I was thinking. One, two, three. And it would have to be four there. Wave one here. Um, that would be intermediate. So one, two, one, two, three, four, four, five. Uh, God. Three, four, five. That looks pretty ugly, doesn't it? Yeah, that would be intermediate. Minor. Mm. All of that to have a one, two. I don't know. Curious to know what you guys think about it. As usual, let me know in the comments as well as if, if you have any question. Um, I don't know, because right here, the subdivision would be one, two, three, four, and five. Something like that. <sighs> At that point, I don't know this. I don't know, because at this point, you would have uh, one, let's say you count it as one, A, B, C, two, three, four, five. Could you? I get. I mean, I guess you could do that. Let's look at relationships. Hmm. Point six one eight here. So I did a touch at two point thirty two. Where is two point thirty twenty three? Nope. Okay. Well. Mm. I don't know. I guess you could, but I mean, at the end of the day, though, the problem is still the same. You would have sharp and sharp. Um, I don't know about that. Put it here. So that's another way to look at it. I, I mean, I preferred this one, to be honest. And, uh, you know, you got corrections over the same degree, tending towards equality. Um, and he, oopsie, not good. Okay. And here, remember, and this is what I want you to, sh what I wanted to show, right? So here, we yeah, have, we touched 2. Point okay. So we touched, we passed the 2.23%, right? And uh, we most importantly, we are at $100, which is, as if you've been following me, you would know I stressed about large numbers. Um, and not only that, if we take a look at RSI, we are starting to get divergence. So we could be close to a pretty significant top. I'm not going to lie. Uh, if we take a look at volume, okay, volume is diminishing. Um, so that's possible. And uh, now I'm going to take you, I'm going to stick to this count, which is my preferred one. And I'm going to take you 
into the intraday. Now on the intraday, um, by the way, I had a uh, multiple accounts that got erased uh, because after the stock split. Uh, thank you to Trading View. Um, so this, I think, I kind of has a complex. A B C. Yeah, you kind of kind of. You could kind of like this, a series of threes. No big deal. Now, here, this is my preferred one. So my original one, so the one I had last week was uh, this one. Yep. So one, two, three, four, down, upside. Now, while that is still possible, um, oopsie, nope. So while that is still possible, I'm going to stick to this one. Uh, one, two, three, four, one last move higher. And then at that point, we could see something big happening. And uh, if I take you to the hourly, so if we zoom in, obviously, trading view needs to move my waves. So here, what we have here is what I thought and could still be, don't get me wrong, a five wave move. I should show here. There you go. One, two, three, four, five. But that will go here. Three, four, five. While that is possible, um, I genuinely, looking also at the NASDAQ, but just looking at this in general, I mean, looking at the, the degree of descent we had here, as you can see here, the degree of descent, it doesn't really look corrective, does it? Um, so here, the way you count it is A, B, C. Can we find fine waves in, fi in C? One, two, three, four, five, I guess. Oopsie daisy. Okay. Nope. Four not done. Okay. And here, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Oh God, could you count in as uh, three? Hmm. I don't know. So you count in as. Let's see. It, it, One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. You could kind of like that, to be honest. Which is pretty much what I have for the NASDAQ at the time being. I guess we're going to find out. Uh, but uh, the, the, the problem is, I don't see, I don't see here, um, it, it just looks, so when it's just, oh, can I explain that? So when I see, when I usually see just the move down here, right? So you could draw a channel here. We can do that. And uh, all the trading action will be within the channel. When that happens, it's usually just one wave. So in this case, it could be a wave for C. Um, it's not a, I don't see a three wave move. I want to see a clear three wave move to then look for further upside, which obviously I could be wrong. It's possible I'm wrong, but that's what I want to see. If I don't see that, I'm just going to, you know, step, step away and uh, see how it's going to develop. But uh, yeah, uh, let's see what the NASA is doing. Yeah, as you can see, it's still moving lower as expected. So it's pre-market. The market opens in about an hour. So yeah, I think this is going to be NVIDIA. Um, I will update as usual. If you have any questions, anything you don't agree with, just let me know in the comments. Uh, or else you can join the Discord. The link is down below and it's absolutely free. Just beware of scammers, unfortunately. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.